Hey, Buckskin Dave here. So we're uh, continuing working on these, this Gemmer rolling block, but I want to make something really clear uh, before we get going this morning. On my last video, I was disappointed in a barrel that I got, but I want to make sure everybody knows that I am not disappointed in the company that sent it to me. Um, we're a thousand plus miles away from each other, talking over the phone, we thought this thing would work, and it turns out it didn't. It's no big deal. My disappointment was in the fact that it didn't work, not the guy that sent it to me. Actually, I'm really happy with the company that sent it to me and the fact that he went digging around and found something that he thought might work. And, and talking back and forth, him and I, we thought it would work. It turns out it didn't. Anyway, <clears throat> I just want everybody to know that I am not at odds with any manufacturer or company or retailer. Okay, the other thing is uh, these um, threads that we have to make are square threads. I did check on Green Mountain's website again and it turns out they've got some barrels, so I've got some barrels coming. Um, it's going to strain the old piggy bank, but I have two actions, so I've got two barrels coming. and. Uh, they should work. We have to make a tool that'll cut these square threads. Now let's see, let's let it focus. You see how they're square? And I believe, we'll have to look, but I believe they're 12 threads to an inch. So um, the tools that I have for cutting are, of course, for cutting standard threads. And uh, I made a tool years ago, but apparently I don't have it anymore. So we have to make a tool, a cutting tool, to do this. So grab your cup of coffee, I've got mine here, and uh, let's sit down and let's make a tool so we'll have that tool ready when these barrels come and we can cut this. Okay, so we got to measure this out. Uh, so our square threads are 12 threads to an inch. So got that and each thread is well on this stub if you can see it if it'll focus is 50 thousand so we have to make a tool that will cut a square groove into the barrel stub 50 thousands so I'm going to start with this this is a cutting tool and it is 100, 120 thousand. So we're going to have to thin it out on both sides without ruining the temper. And I've checked inside the best that I can. But this one here goes into the number five, this stub that I made out of aluminum. It goes in the number five action fine, so I'm going to try to make a tool that would recreate this. Uh, the, the number one action is a little smaller in diameter, but the threading is the same. So let's go over to the grinding wheel and see how this can, see if we can get this to work for it. So we have to adjust this thing so it's level. Let's see. There we go. Tighten it up. And what we're going to do, we're going to lay this in here and we're going to grind it down and measure it and get it to the right um, thickness. Then this tool will go into our, uh, this tool will go into our lathe and cut the threads. I need to get some water. Okay, 
because I don't like surprises, what I did is I uh, went ahead and cut another stub on a piece of aluminum with our new bit we just made. And what I want to do is make sure that bit's going to work. And so there's our threads. They're a little bit a little bit wider, just a teensy bit. But let's go. So we get this baby going in here. We we'll get it. it butts up pretty good the cutter works um, threaded it's a little loose but uh, that's okay I can make it tighter when, when I cut the stuff the point is the pitch and the depth of the thread is good. All right, so we have our bit, uh, bit to cut our um, stub. We made another stub. Then the only other thing that has to be cut on here, and on the last couple of ones that I did, I cut it by hand. This one looks like it was just ground. This thing looks like it was just ground by hand too. We'll have to cut this little half circle here that's in there. That That's where the the block, the rolling block hits uh, or clears. And then this little groove right here is where the um, extractor fits into. And those, I, I usually do those by hand. Just measure them out, and uh, once I get the barrel set, then I can mark it and go from there. And we can grind those out by hand. So it looks like we're on our way. We just have to wait a little longer for some parts. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I can make another plug for this, this uh, number one action. The plug is a little smaller, so I can make one for that if I want to. And we've got our bit. And now we're set on getting this number five action set. And then for our number one action, we still have our stock we can work on. Anyway, we're getting there. I ain't going to give up. I'm going to make a gimmer, okay? I'm going to make a gamer and a half. The uh, first one's going to be a traditional looking exact from what I've seen one picture of gamer uh, rolling block. The other one's just going to be a rolling block kind of almost a gamer. Um, but I'm going to build two rifles so stick with me. We'll keep at it. We're going to get disappointed before we get any further again I'm sure because we're doing something that it's all on the fly. I'm figuring it out as I go. So, anyway, stick with me. Thanks for joining me for a cup. Have a great day.